Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, with an absolutely splendid, and I mean splendid, fabulously splendid, Baroque sacred music album by Zelenka. Zelenka is the best. Zelenka is the coolest. Zelenka is incredibly neat. This is on the Nibiru, Nibiru label. Um, and it consists of the premiere recording, the CD world premiere. I mean, maybe there was a non-CD world premiere. I have no idea. Of the Missa Purificationis Beate Virginis Mariae. The, the, the Mass for the Purification of the Blessed Virgin Mary. I guess that's what that means. This is an amazing piece of music. It is short. It's like a Missa Brevis almost. I mean, it's, it's about 25 minutes long. And and for the whole thing, or a little less, I don't know, um, in simple sections, that is, you know, the normal Kyrie, Gloria, Credo. It's not really a cantata mass. It doesn't have separate movements for every every number, although some of them are set off like the Kyrie and the Christe with soloists and choir and whatnot. But it's short. He wrote it in 10 days. And it has to be one of the most characterful things he ever did. I mean, it may be because he wrote it in 10 days. He didn't have time to like smooth over some of the rough edges. I don't know. I don't know. But Zelenka's style is one of these, one of the few Baroque comp composers who has an instantly identifiable personal style. Now, what does that style consist of? Well, it consists of sudden shifts between major and minor keys, kind of like Schubert did, only much earlier. You know, very, very sudden and without any kind of warning whatsoever. The piece is scored for trumpets, flutes, oboes, and strings, um, and timpani with the trumpets. But his trumpet writing is almost lyrical. I mean, it, it doubles the, the, the other instruments and the voices. It's not the usual just, you know, fanfare militant stuff. It's really integrated into the texture and, and absolutely splendid. The other thing that he did that was really kind of crazy is syncopations constantly lots and lots of syncopations da 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 um, and in this case, his instrumental introductions are, first of all, he never met uh, an eight-bar phrase that he liked. He tended to phrase in prime numbers. I mean, things are strange. They're in five-bar, 13-bar. You never know where the phrase is going to end. And in the middle of the phrase that you don't know where it's going to end, it veers off into little minor key byways and syncopated tchotchkes. And it's, I mean, it's so amazing. I mean, just take a, a, a look at, uh, listen to the credo of this piece, for example. You know, the credo of Mass, it's a big, long, chunky thing with lots of doctrinal stuff in it. Well, he only, he gets through it in like six minutes with all the words, but he does it in a very unusual manner because, you know, Baroque period was the period of the single affect rule, which means that a piece of music should express one feeling. And then if you want to express another feeling, you end it and you start with the other thing. Well, he doesn't do that. I mean, the whole credo is six minutes long in one continuous movement, and it's fast, and it's slow, and it's it doesn't have any any real pauses. It just, it's flying along, then all of a sudden it's very slow and soft, then it's very loud. His dynamics are very specific. He didn't have the word crescendo in his vocabulary, so he used, he used you know, piano, less piano, still less piano, almost forte, more forte. You know, that's how he wrote crescendos. But his music is full of these dynamic nuances and sudden changes of texture and color. All of these things are here in like 25 really compact minutes. And it's very, very well performed. The performers here, it's Ensemble in Egal under Adam Victoria with a selection of Czech soloists. There are five of them. We don't have to go through their names because I would only mispronounce them anyway. But they're very, very good. They all sing well. And you also get the Litane Laurentane, the, the litanies, um, Consolatrix Afflictorum. That's a series of prayers to the Virgin Mary as the consoler of the afflicted, those who bring you know consolation to the afflicted, or she who brings consolation to the afflicted. It's a very, very late work, scored only for strings and oboe. It's a gentler work than the Mass. 
Um, but all of the same characteristics are there. It's exquisitely beautiful. It really is. And I, I, what can I say about this stuff? It's marvelous. It's marvelous. And, you know, this, this label, um, Nibiru, is what it's called, yes, Nibiru, which is from Czechoslovakia, has a whole Zelenka series. I mean, I, I have it, or most of it, almost all of it right here, by the way, because I want to cover the whole, the whole shebangy at some point. I've got them all collected. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are 10, 10 of them. And there are, there are at least a couple others, which I've covered at classicstoday.com like Il Diamante or one of those weird oratorio things that he did. So there's there's all kinds of interesting stuff from Zelenka. He was just an amazing, amazing composer. Bach was an admirer. I mean, it, it, he was just out there and so, so characterful. And this just gives us like all of his stuff in like a wonderful compact passage, you know, package. So I recommend this as strongly as I can recommend anything. Again, it's the Missa Purificationis Beate Virginis Mariae. So I could also write, remember, also wrote, remember the Missa, the Missa Brissa, aka the Missa Circumcisionis, about which I did another video. You can take a look at that one. That's kind of, kind of fun. Um, but it's fabulous music. Absolutely fabulous music. And if you like Baroque music, if you like Baroque sacred music, you really, really need to hear this. You will be amazed. So keep on listening, friends. Thank you so much for joining me. Take care.